In this video, you'll see how to create and manage SQL data sources in the DevExpress End User Report Designer for ASP.NET using the built-in SQL Data Source Wizard. You can use the SQL Data Source Wizard to create and edit queries of an existing SQL data source. You can also use it to create a new data source if your software provider explicitly enabled this functionality by supplying the Web Report Designer with a set of default data connections. To add a new query to an existing SQL data source, switch to the Field List panel, select the data source, and click the Add Query button. To edit an existing query of a SQL data source, select the query and click the Edit Query button. If the Web Report Designer is provided with default data connections, the SQL Data Source Wizard allows creating new SQL data sources in addition to managing data source queries. In this case, the Add SQL Data Source command appears in the Designer's menu. To create a new data source, select Add SQL Data Source. Select the required data connection from the list of available data connections. On this page, you can construct a SQL query to obtain data from the database or select a stored procedure. Let's create a query. Now run the Query Builder. To add a table to the query, drag and drop it onto a Query Builder design surface. Enable the checkbox for the table to include all of its fields into the view. If several tables are added, you can specify the data relation between them. To perform a joint operation, click the field of one table and hold down the left mouse button while dragging the mouse cursor to a field of another table. In the Selection Properties panel, you can specify the join type and the logical operator to be used as the join predicate. Specify a name for the query by setting its name property. To filter resulting data at the data source level, create a filtering expression. Click the ellipsis button for the filter property, and in the filter editor, construct a filter expression. A filter expression can contain query parameters. To add a query parameter to an expression, expand the drop-down menu for a value placeholder and select the parameter item. Click the parameter placeholder to create a new query parameter or insert an existing one. Save the filtering expression, click OK to exit the query designer, and then click Next to proceed to the next wizard page. On this page, you can add and remove query parameters. Here, you can also configure new query parameters that were created on the previous step. And finally, click Finish to exit the wizard. The newly created SQL data source will become available in the field list. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.